I was walking through Covent Garden the other day and a woman walked up to me and she said, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but are you Phoenix's dad? And this has become kind of a, a joke for me, especially in social media. Am I Phoenix's dad? I've become Phoenix's dad rather than being me. And it's something that makes you smile. My son is 11 and I'm sure you, will, you probably already know if you've followed any of my stuff that he's currently starring in a West End show. But what I want to do is over the past eight or nine months, the whole process of auditioning, of rehearsals, of getting in the show, I have learned so many lessons. That's not to say my son hasn't learned a billion lessons as well, but I have learned so much about being a father, about being a coach, about being a human being. And I'd like to share those thoughts with you, just a few of those thoughts with you, over a short series of videos that I'm gonna call Dad Of, because I am Dad Of Phoenix. And I think probably a great place to start is something that's really personal to me in all of this, that something I found a little bit difficult to say, that I could not be more proud of my son. And pride is a, is a feeling, an emotion, that I've really struggled with all my life. I think when I was young and, and I was bullied at school uh, and isolated and lonely and I really didn't understand how to connect with people, I think the one thing that helped me succeed, the one thing that pulled me through that was being a smart kid. And yet what happened was that I tended to use it destructively. And so for many, many years of my life, probably decades of my life, a very important part of me was being significant, it was finding significance through being the smart kid, through being smarter than other people. I wouldn't, I mean, I mean, I'm even holding back now from saying smarter than everybody else. And in school I probably was, but later in life there's no way that I was smarter than everybody else. I was just kind of a smart person. And there was this constant battle between the significance that gave me, even though it came at a cost, and finding connection with people, finding that deeper connection which I absolutely craved. So I was always living that space of of paradox, of trying to find significance, trying to find connection, at the same time using significance that was isolating me, that was pulling me away, that was pushing others away. And so that became all wrapped up with pride, with this feeling of pride, something I struggled with. And when I think more deeply about pride, it's about actually, could I feel pride about myself? Could I be proud of my own achievements? And that's much harder. Being proud of my son is hard. Being proud for myself, being proud about myself is much harder. And that's about that sense of being worthy. Am I worthy of pride? And the real underlying question in that is, am I worthy of love? And that's the thought that comes to me. That's the thought that I battle with when I think about being proud. Because I deeply love my son and I am unbelievably proud of him. And it's raised all these questions for me inside. Living with that paradox of significance and connection, of pride and love. And actually, they are all part of me. They are all part of the same thing. So I am gonna to choose to be proud of my son. I am gonna be choose to be proud of me. I wonder what becomes possible for you if you allowed yourself to be proud, you allowed yourself to brag about your successes. Because I know for me, it opens up many possibilities. I really look forward to hearing from you and what becomes possible for you. Thank you for listening.